babies are like standoffish. They're not friendly. I reached out my hand, you know, he grabbed my couple of fingers and you know, we just went walking. So I'll take them. <laughs> I got four, but I'll take them. Yesterday, our officers responded to this location. Uh, we received a 911 call. There was someone who had informed us that they had found a toddler. We believe the young boy that was found is approximately two to three years of, of age. He was found wearing a t-shirt and diapers, and that's it. When I got out of my car, I heard the baby crying. So I walked over and I realized he was by himself. Um, he's very pleasant, very friendly. I asked him, you know, where's your mommy? And he kind of just pointed kind of like everywhere. And I reached out my hand for him, he grabbed my hand, and I just walked around the complex hoping that I would find somebody looking for him or calling his name. Um, I saw a neighbor. I asked, you know, do you know where this baby, you know, who's baby? And they said, well, there's a couple. Maybe, you know, you'll be able, maybe that's their baby. I spoke with the woman of the house and she said that wasn't her baby. Um, that was Lori. And she walked back out with me to the south gate of the apartment complex just to see if somebody else was looking for him outside of the complex. Um, nobody was. At that point, as a mom, I did everything I could do without having to call the police. And so I did. I'm not a hero, I'm not anything else. I'm just a mom. Kelly, we have late breaking details. Hollywood police are now telling us that the truck from that missing mom was located here in Hollywood. It was recovered. Hollywood police say that investigators from Miramar are the ones who found it. They're also telling us that it appears the last known location of that woman was on Hollywood around Hollywood Boulevard and 441 in Hollywood. Where is Leela Cavett? Her family is desperate for answers. Now the search for the missing mom is happening in Hollywood. Police here have taken over the case, saying they believe she was last seen in Hollywood. We just want you to come back, Leela, please. We love you so much. It doesn't matter what happened. We will take you back with open arms. We just want to know that you're okay. Leela's three sisters arrived from Alabama Tuesday after learning she was missing. Her mom is also in South Florida. They didn't know anything was wrong until they saw this video sent out by police police. The family tells us this is Leela's two-year-old son Camden. He was found wandering outside an apartment complex Sunday at Pembroke Road and 68th Avenue. Investigators have been checking surveillance video from the area to see if it reveals any clues. Her family is trying to figure out why mom and son would be here in the first place. Leela lives north of Atlanta. The family said she doesn't know anyone in the area. And that's the biggest question we have is why she was in Florida. And shared his picture and face on social media after he was found. The hardest thing I've ever seen, I've seen a picture of my nephew considered as an unidentified child. The sisters say they haven't heard from Leela in nearly two weeks. Her last text to anyone July 23rd, her last interaction on social media July 26th. The sisters drove 800 miles from Alabama Monday night to Miramar Police Headquarters to speak to detectives. Cavett was last seen driving a mid to late model 90s white Chevy 3500 with a maroon or red tailgate. It has a baby on board sign in the passenger window. If my sister is watching this, please just reach out to any one of us. And if you don't want to reach out to us, please reach out to one of your friends. Everyone is so concerned. Setting the scene, we are at a landfill that you may have seen near Coconut Creek as you drive north on the Florida Turnpike. Investigators say they were led here by clues and quite possibly surveillance tape. Chopper 4 captures a busy scene at the Monarch Hill landfill just east of the Florida Turnpike. More than a dozen crew members are seen digging. Several trucks with heavy equipment have been brought in as well. The FBI has set up a number of tents. This is where the search for 21-year-old Layla Cavett of Georgia has taken them. She was last seen in Hollywood on July 25th, the day before two-year-old son Camden was found wandering alone outside an apartment complex in Miramar. In early August, her father and sisters came to South Florida Order to join in the search. Every day that passes, it's being more and more danger, and we just don't even know it. We have no answers. Cavett's sister, Ty Anna, has always been hopeful. Not a single part of me has lost faith. God is going to bring her home. She's perfectly fine. I know she's probably scared as ever right now, 
but I'm not losing hope. Cavett's father told us Cavett would never leave Camden. He's everything to her. Camden is her life. That's her love of her life. She is never going to leave. In the areas of Hollywood, Miramar, and Fort Lauderdale Beach before her disappearance. It's been almost three weeks since Leela Cavett disappeared. Her son found wandering alone in Miramar. Today, the FBI releasing new information in the hopes of finding the young mother. Hello once again. I'm Jackie Nespro. And I'm Juwan Schrader. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. NBC6 reporter Amanda Placencia is live in Miramar with the new details in the investigation. Amanda. Yes, Jawan and the FBI today says they are starting to put together some of the pieces in the case of this missing mother, Leela Cavett, but the search is far from over. Her disappearance is very, very mysterious, and again, we're extremely concerned. Newly released surveillance photos giving us some clues as to where Leela Cavett went before she vanished. Leela spent time in the areas of Hollywood, Miramar, and Fort Lauderdale Beach before her disappearance. On Thursday, the FBI confirmed that Leela was with her two-year-old son, Camden, when she came down to Florida from Georgia on July 24th. This picture placed her at a Cracker Barrel off I-95 in Vero Beach. The next day, the FBI says her cell phone pings show she was near Los Olas Boulevard and Fort Lauderdale Beach during the day. Surveillance photos also showed Leela getting out of a Lexus sedan at a racetrack in Hollywood the day before she disappeared. The frantic search for Leela was set off on July 26th after her toddler, Camden, was found wandering alone barefoot outside a Miramar apartment complex. Layla's separation from her son is completely out of character. Her family and others in our community are very concerned about her safety and well-being. Leela's father previously said he was worried that she may have met up with a man in Florida through online dating, but the FBI would not confirm that info. The case of this missing 21-year-old continues to bring a lot of twists and turns. We're pursuing every lead to include we're trying to identify and contact everyone who she might have spoken to or have come in contact with. So that's what some of the assistance that we're looking for from the public. Search to find the 21 year old along with law enforcement in Florida. So here's what we know tonight. Cavette arrived in Florida on July 24th and was spotted at a Cracker Barrel in Vero Beach. The next night she was seen at a gas station in Hollywood, Florida. Then on July 26, Cavette's two year old son was found wandering alone in South Florida. And just two days later, the young mother's truck was found in Hollywood, Florida. The FBI calls it a mysterious on the investigation. New video, new clues into the disappearance of 21 year old missing mom Leela Cabot, whose two year old son was found wandering in Miramar July 26th. The day before, Saturday, July 25th, 2 20 in the afternoon, her white Chevy pickup is seen at the racetrack gas station, Hollywood Boulevard, and 441. 45 minutes later, she's seen getting out of a Lexus and then buying something in the store. Seven hours later, 10:16 at night, Leela Cavett is seen in the racetrack holding her son. After that, she vanishes. I'm, I'm hoping that she will be found, and uh, I'm glad the FBI is involved in doing the search. Robert Ferdinand is Leela's grandfather. He and the rest of the family do not believe this man's claims. Why is it you have a missing girl or a missing woman, and the last person that's seen her, which is me, who talked to the police, you ain't heard nothing about me? That's Shannon Ryan, a self-described witch, who says he met Leela Cavett last year in Alabama and that she came to Florida to sell him her truck. These are pictures of that truck front and back. And now they're trying to make a connection with me to her, but you got my phone. Ryan is in jail charged with kidnapping Leela's son and lying to federal agents. The FBI says his Lexus with front end damage was seen in front of the Miramar apartment complex where Leela's son was found. Leela was a good person that always watched her baby, that always took care of her business, and it, all the family, you know, just love her. Ryan claims Leela left with strangers at the gas station, but there's no evidence she left in another car. The FBI says Ryan bought large trash bags, carpet odor eliminator, and duct tape, and that they found a search on his phone asking, does bleach and alcohol make chloroform? More troubling, a worker says they saw Ryan a day after Leela vanished, putting children's toys and women's clothing into the racetrack dumpster. It's
what's going on. First of all, Dr. Phil, I just want to say thank you for giving our family the opportunity to come here and tell with you the story. It really means a lot to us. Well, you're welcome, and it's my honor to do it. We want to shine a bright light on this and, and do everything we can to find her. Yes. Like you said, Curtis and I jumped on a plane immediately as soon as we found out that Camden had been found. And we've been searching day in and day out. When you found out that she was missing, it was just because her son had been found, correct? Yes. I thought it was some kind of sick joke. Because I know my daughter would never leave her son unattended. Right. And how long have you been down there now? I've really lost track of time. I think we've been here almost nine days. Oh, my gosh. And, Curtis, have you learned anything new since you got there? No, not really. We've been just taking the same whereabouts and same info that police have. Yeah, we've been trying to take on our own mission and go out in the streets of Florida and try to find it. Okay, now you guys live in Alabama, correct? Correct. And she was living in Atlanta, Georgia? She was living in Georgia with my grandmother and son. Okay, and as far as the two of you know, she didn't know anyone in the entire state of Florida, correct? We have no friends, she has no ties. doctor as suspect in the case of a missing mother would with what we know now Laura well we've learned a lot today from that criminal complaint the suspect told authorities that Layla Cavett drove down to Florida to sell him her pickup truck he also says that they came to this racetrack gas station two times on the same day today I want to talk about Layla Cavett Federal agents arrested this man, Shannon Ryan, and charged him with kidnapping Layla Cavett's son. The two-year-old was found wandering in a Miramar parking lot on July 26, and a criminal complaint says surveillance video shows Ryan's gold Lexus in front of that complex where Camden was found. According to the complaint, after the child was abandoned, Ryan went to Walmart and bought trash bags, duct tape, and carpet odor eliminator. I feel like you're trying to set me up. 
In a Facebook video, Ryan explains he met Layla Cavett about a year ago when she appeared at his door in Alabama with her son. Ryan then came down to Florida and says Cavett agreed to meet him in Hollywood to sell him her pickup truck. You might ask yourself, why did this girl drive all the way to Florida to meet some guy? Yeah, because she knew me and I had taking or taking care of her and her son for a number of months. Last week, the FBI released photos confirming Cavett was at the racetrack gas station on July 25th. Ryan's criminal complaint states video shows his Lexus was parked in front of the racetrack dumpster and employees told officers they saw Ryan using that dumpster. A forensic extraction of Ryan's iPhone allegedly revealed Google searches for what day does commercial garbage pick up for Hollywood, Florida, and does bleach and alcohol make chloroform? You will see that she's talking to some guys in a black car. Layla got her and her son and got in the car with those guys. So Shannon Ryan claims Leda got in a car with random men here at this racetrack gas station and says that this was the last time he saw her. Now, the complaint also says the surveillance video, though, does not show Layla Cavett getting into another vehicle. A in court. Joan. Well, this man was given bond. He still remains in lockup, but could be released at any time. Meanwhile, the family of that woman who is still missing is looking for justice. So let's go over to Mr. Ryan on page 14. In federal custody for months on a kidnapping charge, self-described witch Shannon Ryan is soon to be a free man. Why is it you have a missing girl or a missing woman and the last person that's seen her, which is me? You may remember Ryan's Facebook post last year when he talked about the disappearance of 21-year-old Leela Cavett. He told police Cavett was selling him her truck. Cavett is still missing. Her young son Camden was found wandering in Miramar. The feds have dropped the child kidnapping charge, but now Ryan is charged with child neglect. Prosecutors wanted a high bond. We're concerned because he um, has followers throughout um, Facebook all over the country. He is a self-proclaimed witch doctor with clients um, all over the country. He's never seen leaving the child anywhere and all the photographs that were provided and everything else, he's never seen alone with the child. Yeah, it's super, like, it's super upsetting and frustrating. Leela's yeah. uncle is not happy Ryan is being released with so many questions. Like, I feel like this case should be bigger than what it should be right now, you know, especially we have a, a two-year-old child, which is my nephew, and then we have my niece who's still missing. I feel like it, it's no reason why this man should have bail. Like, I, I feel like it's no reason. I feel like they're not trying him. I feel like they just gave up on Leela. At the time, investigators said they believed Ryan left the child at the apartment complex. He claimed Leela left with strangers at a Hollywood gas station. A worker said they saw Ryan putting clothes and toys into a dumpster. All the family thinks she's still alive, and then some of them think she's not. Um, I mean, for me personally, I feel like there's still hope. There's a couple other things I wanted to cover before I ended the video. Definitely believe that she has met um, a nefarious in, and more and more than likely, and by the hands of Mr. Ryan. In court documents, Ryan had bought bleach, duct tape, carpet deodorizer, and looked up on his computer how to make chloroform. Uh, also, Ryan had stated that Layla had traveled to South Florida to be his new apprentice in late July and that he was going to buy her a truck. Well, he was going to buy her truck and he admitted to spending a day with her when she arrived in South Florida, but denies have anything to do with her disappearance, of course. So that's kind of been established 
that Layla was going to South Florida to meet up with Ryan. That initial video that um, the news had provided a couple of clips from a Facebook video Ryan had did in earlier in Layla's disappearance. And he was stating that it was obvious that she knew him because he had what well, he alluded to giving her money to take care of her and her son. I don't know how true that is, but that's basically what he was saying. So, um, it was just weird that he said she came to be an apprentice. None of her family stated that that was something that she was looking forward to doing in regards to becoming a witch. I don't know if she was even um, religious, but I know um, from what her parents or her siblings and her mother and dad and stuff have said in, in previous um, interviews, nobody said anything about her be wanting to become a witch. Also, I don't know what kind of witch he is, but he doesn't. And I'm not saying there's a look, but when you first see Ryan, in my opinion, and it said he had done some jail, well, prison time. I don't know what I, the vibes I get from him is that he's just saying it's like some kind of drug addict, or even if he's not currently on drugs, maybe previously on drugs, and some type of con man who was trying to get over. And I know Layla didn't have anything really for him to get over on, but who knows? Something's weird about this situation, and it's definitely more than what he's saying. So, I don't know. Even if you threw out that she was becoming, wanted to become an apprentice angle, why would you kill her? That's just weird to me. It doesn't make sense to kill someone over a $3,000 truck. And in my opinion, the truck looked weathered and dated. It's not like it was a brand new truck or even semi-new. So, I don't understand why he would feel the need to take a life over it. This seems like something else was going on. It just, without it, the information or enough information, it's kind of hard to pinpoint it. My heart does go out to Layla's family, her son. Um, I pray that they find her uh, remains and that they can put her to rest and that um, they receive justice.